Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you don't know which podcast to use to learn Italian and you also struggle to find transcripts, you found the right video. Los geht's! My name is Dustin and I'm an IT project manager from Germany. On this channel we create content that helps us to be more productive, to learn new things, especially languages and to live a happier and more fulfilling life. Podcasts are a great way to improve your listening comprehension and your reading comprehension if there are transcripts available. For the reading part I use link to import the transcripts and the podcast to read the transcripts first before I actually listen to the podcast. And that's an integral part of my learning. But of course you can also do that without link. And the nice thing about podcasts is also that you can listen to them on the side while you're doing other stuff. And I already did a video about that and how to find time for language learning and I will link it somewhere here. That's why I will show you today some of the best podcasts to learn Italian for all levels, starting for beginners, over to intermediate, up to advanced, to find podcasts with a transcript. But sometimes I couldn't find any, especially at the higher intermediate and advanced stage, that should be still fine. Further, there are some podcasts in my list which have a transcript but only paid. So you need to join a Patreon community, for example, or something like that. But you can also listen to all of them without the transcript. So I only choose podcasts that you can listen for free. After that, I will also show you how to find podcasts on your own for Italian in specific. Okay, let's dive into today's topic. Andiamo! At the beginner stage, you are not at a level yet where you can consume native content. So you need to focus on podcasts that are specifically made for language learners. But we should still focus on podcasts that are in Italian to spend as much time as possible with the language. There are only two podcast exceptions in English that I like to use and I will start with them right away. First of all, we start with language transfer. And this one is a real gem. So it's completely for free and it's not a real podcast, it's not a real app, but it's kind of an audio program, but I really like to mention it here. And you can uh, listen to the different lessons um, in, in the right order and it will explain you the language by thinking. So let me quote the, the official definition here. The thinking method challenges what we think we know about learning, teaching and languages, and what we think we need to know in order to really learn. And that's exactly it. So we get the basics of the language, not by memorizing stuff by heart or um, yeah, by heart, but instead by thinking and by building up your competencies in that language. And you will use as a starting point um, your already existing English skills and all the advantages that there are. If you find value in it, you can support it via Patreon, for example, like I do. And uh, yeah, I can just highly recommend this one. They also do other languages and um, it's, it's, it's a real game changer. I can assure you. Next one, Coffee Break Italian. So Coffee Break languages in general are doing podcasts for many years now. The team is super sympathetic and Mark, the host of the show and founder of Coffee Break languages, is uh, really knowledgeable. So he's a polyglot and all the languages that he speaks, he speaks at them at, the, at, a, at a really high level. At least the ones I, I've heard so far. So for example, also there's also Coffee Break French and um, other things like Coffee Break Swedish, for example. And he's also doing like references between those languages. And this is sometimes really interesting, especially when you are learning multiple languages, multiple Latin languages, for example. Podcasts are completely for free, but if you want to get further materials, transcripts and all those kind of things, you need to pay for them, of course. I've always used the free ones so far because the prices are pretty elevated. But my brother, for example, has bought, uh, I think Coffee Break Swedish and he's really happy with it and uh, he got a great value from it. The beginner episodes start with simple phrases and uh, yeah, build up a bit on that. At a later stage there's normally a text that gets read out loud like in Italian and then afterwards uh, there's a line by line analysis and of, of the language in English and at the end you will listen to the text once more and then you will be able to understand way more than 
after the first time. This podcast is not just for beginners, but also for intermediate and advanced learners. So there's something for everyone. I'm about to finish Coffee Break Italian soon and I have also listened to all the episodes of Coffee Break French and I really like it. So it can be a great addition to your language learning. Next one is finally in Italian. So Podcast Italiano is also around for a while now and he has also a YouTube channel with the same name. The nice thing is that he has categorized the different episodes into different uh, levels like uh, beginner, intermediate, advanced. Further transcripts are available for free so you can read them or you can also import them to a link. The content is varied and interesting and he has also many different guests and is doing interviews as well. Okay, let me quote this one here. What's the best way to learn Italian? In Italy itself, of course. Travel across Italy in this bilingual podcast for beginners. In each episode you'll meet up with a local who explains the regional traditions and culinary specialties of their hometown and more. Andiamo. So this podcast is meant to be for um, beginners but probably rather at an A2 level uh, I'd say and uh, it's a podcast from the bubble team and it is very well produced I can say. Um, you will also find transcriptions for each episode and also more information around the podcast and about the stories. Uh, it's definitely a must listen and um, yeah well, have I mentioned that this course is completely for free? Now let's come to the intermediate ones. The, first of all, there's the Italian Link podcast. And this podcast is not just exclusively for members of the Link community, but can be also used without Link. So there's a homepage where you can access all the different episodes and also the transcripts. You will find a variety of many different interesting topics like history, news, uh, travels, and many more. We quote the next one here as well. Arcos Academy reinforces your listening comprehension by recording the same script at a fast and a low speed. They even provide free transcripts and comprehension questions on their website. Learn about major historical events or listen to stories about famous people throughout history with these carefully written episodes. And that's exactly it. So podcast for free with transcripts and interesting stories or interesting topics. So give it a try. Next one is Vaporetto Italiano. And he also has a YouTube channel by the same name. And he just recently started also to do a podcast. He's a very sympathetic guy and he has also really captivating stories and topics on his podcast and YouTube channel. Descriptions are only available for Patreon members but I guess it's definitely worth it, so you can check it out. The next one I got recommended by my brother, and it's Simone Pols. He's an Italian guy, but also a polyglot and a fellow project manager like I am. It's definitely on my list for the future, and I will listen to it at some point, but the transcripts are only available for members of the community, and you need to pay a monthly fee in order to get them. Italian stories in Italian, so let me quote here. Free transcriptions and many authentic Italian stories in Italian. Each story also includes an audio recording and the vocabulary. This is a useful listening and reading exercise you can do to improve your Italian. And all that, even for free. So yeah, definitely check that out. Um, I think yeah, it's, it's really high quality and well made. So definitely thumbs up from my side. The next podcast is Italy Made Easy and you will also find a YouTube channel under the same name. You can also get free transcripts or not completely free. You need to leave your email address at the page. In terms of topic, it's all centered around Italy and Italian culture. Next one, news and slow Italian. So this one is not just for beginners or for the intermediate stage, but also for advanced learners. So you have news for all stages. Further, there are series of yeah, small documentaries you can listen to, but the bad thing is that there are no transcripts available. Well, actually there are transcripts available, but you would need to pay for them. Now we come to advanced and I include also the upper intermediate stage here where you can really start to listen to authentic content. To find things at that stage with transcripts can be really hard, but I managed to find at least two of them. The rest will be without a transcript. First of all, Veleno, and let me quote the official text here because I couldn't describe it any better. Over the course of seven episodes, we tell a single news story that really happened 20 years ago. 
There are no actors and no script. We followed the trail marked by the testimonies and our own research as far as it took us. All the past audio recordings, records and acts are original. All the voices that tell the story today are the true voices of its protagonists. Each installment adds a new chapter, so it's important to listen to them in order, starting with the first. And yeah, it has a really, really high quality and it's completely for free. So definitely make sure to check it out. This is a must. Next one, Italia Storia. And let me quote here as well. The award-winning podcast Storia d'Italia is tracing Italy's long and complex history from Constantine to the present day. If you are into history, this is the right podcast for you. It has transcripts for the older episodes, but uh, the more recent ones don't have it anymore. So it's a good idea to start from the beginning and learn all the podcasts with transcript. At a certain point, you will also be able to understand the other ones. I'm pretty sure. The others I will mention now, unfortunately, don't offer transcripts, but are, despite that fact, very good. First of all, Scientificast. And as the name already indicates, well, it's about science. There are a ton of episodes, like over 400, and it started all in 2012 so it's really seasoned by now it has a whole team which produces the content and the quality is pretty high next one is Vabe, and Vabe is about uh, two afro italians uh, who live in london and who are talking about many different topics like a chat between friends about um, social social situations love relationships friendships and everything else um, it's a great opportunity i'd say to practice real conversations Next one, Il Risolti, I Misteri del Crimine. Uh, it's a podcast dedicated to the most mysterious unsolved crimes in history, unexplained deaths, nameless bodies, murders without an Italian and international culprit. Told by Francesca Zanni. So if you are into stuff like that, go ahead and try it, but probably don't listen to it before you go to sleep. Next one, TEDx Talks Italia, and there you will find a bunch of recordings in Italian about a multitude of different topics. Not much more to say about that, except that there are also other TEDx Talks in many different languages, also TED Talks. So if you are learning other languages, always try to make sure to check that out. Next one, Cosmo Italiano. If you're also learning German and would like to know what's going on in Germany, this is the right podcast for you. It's made by one of the major German broadcasters and it has a really nice quality. Next one, Demoni Urbani. And let me quote the official text here as well. Francesco Migliaccio tells stories from around the world that describe the ordinary, unbelievable, insane and simple ability of evil to possess people, driving them to ungodly and violent actions. Urban Demons recounts the terror that erupts in every part of the planet. From the streets we know to those we have never imagined even in dreams or in nightmares. Again, probably don't listen to that before you go to sleep. Next one, Kisi Falitalia. And it's again about history but more about recent history of Italy to be more precise. Especially specific events that have changed Italy or Italian history and politics forever. It's a Spotify original podcast so you need to have a Spotify account to listen to them. But I think even a free one does the job. Storia di Geopolitica is a podcast in which history mixes with geopolitics, the most current issues addressed from a past perspective. Each episode will cover broad topics like political, social and historical. It's really interesting and they publish about one episode per week. The next one is called Matanza and let me quote the official introduction here. 30 years later on Capacci and Via D'Amelio we think we know everything perpetrators, principles and motives. But is this really the case? All the unsolved mysteries of the assassination attempts on Falcone and Borsellino, when the history of Italy was changed forever. An eight-part podcast with exclusive interviews and unpublished testimonies. It's again some history about the mafia and this time in specific about the assassinations and crimes that in 92 to 93. Next one is something completely different and it's called Pornazzi. And let me quote the text here. Pornazzi is a podcast about porn, its history from its inception to the present, how it has changed and how it has affected our lives, not only sexual, 
and therefore how it has affected the relationships between people and lovers. Porn has always been pioneering, especially in the field of technology. It was the first to experiment with new languages and formats, first with VHS, then with DVDs, finally with streaming and ending to date with virtual reality. Porn has taught everyone something, man, woman and even markets. So yeah, something completely different. Let me know what you think about that. Now let me show you how you can find podcasts for yourself that are interesting to you. First of all, there's of course the Link library. So if you are using Link, there are already many podcasts, including the transcripts available. So make sure to visit that. And I found the page italia-podcast.it where you can find podcasts about a multitude of different topics. The cool thing is that they categorize the different podcasts and you can also search for specific stuff Further, when you click on a podcast, you will get a short description about uh, what it is, as well as links to where you can listen to it. And I've also found the QRT network, which is a network of podcasters about different topics like pop culture, film, music, gaming, comics, science, fiction, and more. And on the page, you can see all the different podcasts of uh, this specific network. And last but not least, there's Rai Play Sound, one of the major broadcasters in Italy. A bunch of different topics and podcasts aligned with their different radio channels about all kinds of topics. So definitely check that out. And that's it. It's so important that we find content that is comprehensible and compelling to us. Podcasts are also a great way to use the time that would be otherwise dead so if you are commuting to work for example if you are vacuum cleaning the apartment i hope that i could give you some inspiration on italian podcasts i also already did a video about how to find time for language learning also if you are interested i got a whole playlist about topics around link if you got more podcasts for learning italian please let us know in the comments also make sure to leave me a like and a subscription to the channel and to not miss anything going forward click on the notification bell Thank you very much for watching and see you the next time.